The PSA AR-10 coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go pow. Today we're looking at the Palmetto State Armory AR-10 chambered in 308. Now I'm gonna walk you through the features, I'll get it out to the range, and I'm gonna tell you my experience. Now if it's your first time here, we always put a ton of stuff down below for you to check out, including a link that'll go over to our website, and if you're already on our website, look up above and down below on this article, a lot of stuff for you to check out and see what you think. Now in recent years, a lot of guys have been adding an AR-10 to their arsenal. Some hunters, some are long range distance shooting junkies, and like me, some are Sunday afternoon plinking folks looking to spice things up. AR-10s come in a huge price range and about 25 different chamberings. This one is the entry level PA-10 from Palmetto State Armory. It's an AR-10 chambered in the popular 308 Winchester round and is sold as a complete rifle. This is the generation two PA-10. Now there's a few different PA-10s out there, but this one has a full rail, a free floating 15 inch M-lock handguard and comes in currently at about $750. Both receivers are forged aluminum and the barrel is a one in 10 inch twist that's overall 18 inches of stainless beauty. Now for me, the barrel really is the highlight of this rifle. Now everything together comes in at eight pounds and that's without glass and without ammo, but overall I think eight pounds is manageable. The stock is the Magpul ACSL and the grip is the overmolded rubber one with the PSA logo on it. The gas system is mid-length and the muzzle device is A2 style. And the final spec, and I think this is where it gets interesting, so put on your tinfoil hats because I think there's a conspiracy here. PSA says that the trigger is a single stage mil spec trigger, but I'm gonna go with a big nope on that one. The trigger is significantly better, in my opinion, than any mil spec trigger I've ever used. So I'm not really thinking this one's mil spec, but what do I know? I'm a moron wearing aluminum foil. The take up is clean and it's not crunchy at all, and the brake is doggone crisp. So I'm not sure what's going on, maybe aliens. What it comes with is pretty standard for PSA. It's a big padded box, paperwork, and a 20 round PMAG. The overall size is about 20 Kiwis long, and out of the box, it is ready to rock and roll. All you gotta do is add an optic. So getting set up for me was super easy. I used an Aero Precision ultralight mount that my editor sent over to me. Now the other Pew Pew guys really do like this mount, but this was my first go with the Aero Precision Ultralight. And overall, I think I'm in. I'll put a link down below for you to check out our full scope mount article. Check it out again, see what you think. Now I paired this rifle with the Primary Arms Platinum Series Scope. It's six to 30 by 56, and I think it's the perfect size for an 18 inch 308. Now, if you're new to the AR-10 platform, the cool thing is breaking it down and the maintenance and all the other stuff is exactly the same. So it's an easy transition for those of y'all that already fire the AR-15. Now, let's get out to the range. For this test, I used two different brands of magazines, the P-Mag and the Lancer. I fired 200 rounds of match grade ammunition from Nosver and Sig Sauer, and also tried a linear comp, which I really didn't like. And I also used a bipod a little bit, but I spent most most of my range time with the big bag. I also shot from the shoulder, partly because this rifle is fairly lightweight for an AR-10 and also because America. I know this review is not about the glass, but boy howdy, I did like the primary arm scope. I haven't stretched its legs yet, but the reticle is crisp and it lights up red and all of the dials are huge and easy to get a hold of. Now overall, the rifle performed perfectly. The action is smooth, it fed just fine, it locked back on empty every time, and the magazine dropped free easily. But I think for me, the most important part, and I think y'all are gonna agree with this, with a 308, it's that sweet, sweet accuracy. Two things, first, I was able to stack rounds on top of each other, absolutely no problem but I did not go out past 100 yards. It's a brand new rifle. So no huge surprise there for me in the accuracy department, especially with that trigger and that 308 round. So it's easy to put rounds where you want them. But second, anytime I'm working with a brand new rifle, I don't get serious until I get multiple hundreds of rounds down the pipe. 
The manufacturer also recommends a break-in period for their barrels. Some guys follow those directions and some don't. All right, there's a lot going right with this rifle. Let me tell you my top five favorites with the PA-10 and then I'm gonna tell you a couple concerns. First, of course, it's the price. I live in the real world and folks who work for a living can enjoy the AR-10 platform without spending three months salary. Now second, as I said, the trigger ain't half bad. I'm gonna leave the trigger as is, which really is a rarity for me. Third, there's a lot of value, I'm gonna say this several times today, there's a lot of value already included in the rifle. Fourth, the stock is a solid choice. And finally, when I tell you that it's optics ready, it really is ready to go right out of the box. So. Put some glass on it and head straight to the range. Few shortcomings to consider or at least to think about. Of course, 200 rounds is not enough to really get dialed in on a 308. Also, I do want to try a different grip. I really do like rubber grips, but I have mixed feelings about this one. Not a big deal to change this one out. Also, if this is your first AR-10, consider getting a smaller magazine. You bench shooters are gonna enjoy not having that big 20 rounder hanging out of the magwell. And finally, and this is my big question for you distance guys and gals, this one has an 18 inch barrel with the right glass and in the hands of the right person. What is a reasonable distance to expect out of this gun? Now I did some reading online and folks were saying that you can expect anywhere between 500 yards and a mile comfortably with this rifle. That is a really huge window. So those of you with a lot of AR-10 experience, let me know. Sound off down below and let me know your thoughts. Overall, this was a fun test. I got both of my shoulders bruised. I made a lot of noise. I burned up all of my ammo and I'm happy with the PSA AR-10 again for the fourth time, especially at this price point. Few things I'd change, but overall it's pretty cool. What do you think? We'd love to hear your opinion on behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team. I'm Johnny and we'll see you soon.